Welcome everybody to Out of the Box. Today we are going to be playing some Dominaria United Precons. Yeah, we're also going to get to check out all the new Dominaria United Ultra Pro products. And if you like the decks that you see today, make sure to head over to our sponsor, Cool Stuff Inc. at CoolStuffInc.com where you can pick up a precon of your own. For today's pod, we're being joined by Power Dragon and z -Bax. So enough chat, let's go ahead and get into the game. All right, what's up, y'all? I'm Power Dragon, and I'm actually kind of excited to be here because for two reasons. One, it's the first episode, and two, we're getting to play with precons, which I never get to do. And today, we're playing Dahada, Binder of Will. And this is going to be a bit of a problem for opponents if we get lucky and get to deal some extra damage, get some lifelink stuff going on. Could be kind of cool, but we'll just have to wait and see. Hello everybody, I'm MTG Nerd Girl, and I'm here to play some Dominaria Precon decks. I am playing Jensen Carthalian Druid Exile today. I'm actually really excited to play this Precon deck. I've been playing a ton of the new Dominaria Limited format, and I can tell you that Domain is a pretty powerful archetype. So I'm pretty happy that I get to play this archetype today, because I'm hoping it's going to be way better than the other deck. Hi, I'm super excited to be here. My name's Zbex. I'm a professional cosplayer and magic personality, and today I'm playing a new pre-con, Shanid, Sleeper's Scourge. I'm pretty excited about this deck because it's Mardu, and Kalia is Mardu and was my first commander deck, so naturally I'm feeling some synergy here. Has some legendary creatures, which I'm familiar with, so I think this will vibe with my style. I'm Veggie Wagon, and I'm clearly playing the best deck with the best commander, Jared Carthalia. Have you looked at this card? Creatures, counters, can't lose. We are going to each open the pack that came with our decks. Ooh. Okay. And uh, the highest CMC will go first. Not gonna be only CMC four. My highest CMC is four. Oh, I'm in the lead. Five with J oh, five. Zara Dang. Janet. <laughs> Nail, four. Mm. Lana wore a loam speaker, All right, two. All right, so I got so to beat five. Uh-huh. I failed this ah. All right, you get to go first. All right, I am going to draw my card. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that, that's sad when you're standing on the first land. card you draw. <laughs> Sounds like a one-land keep. Yeah. Mm. We're not going to talk about it. I'm going to play this Seaside Citadel tap, and I Fair. pass my turn. All right, let's get into it, and we're going to go ahead and play the Crumbling Necropolis. Comes into play tapped, and I'll pass the turn. Okay, but I wanted to make sure that everybody knew the basic staples of Commander. Oh no, oh, here we so go. So I will like play a Command Tower. Followed by a Soul Ring. Followed by a Soul oh, Ring. Oh no. Followed by... <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to play like Arcane Signet. Wait, did we actually have it? A Sword of the Chosen. Okay. I was like, if you had an Arcane Signet, I was about to be I like... I can tap it to give target legendary creature plus two, plus two until the end of turn. Who invited her? Oh. All right, All right so All that's, right. Uh, that's the end of this uh, episode, so we'll be saying goodbye to z Bex. The only person who doesn't play a tap lane and tries to go off on turn one. All right, I'm going to play a Temple of Silence, and I'm going to scry... I think that's going to go on the bottom. You can take your turn. Okay. All right. Tap. Let's see what I got. Pay one to suspend search for tomorrow, uh, which in two turns will allow me to search for basic land and put it in the battlefield. I'll play Nomad Outpost and pass my turn. Oh, that's not a bad start. Right? We're ramping just oh. later. All right. Let's untap and... Uh, we'll play an island and play a Felwar stone. And I'll pass the turn. And I'm envious. Y'all don't have all this extra mana. Right. <laughs> tap, draw. I will cast Draina, Liberator of Malakir. Flying first strike, 2-3. Whenever she deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one, plus one counter on each attacking creature you control. Mm. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's good. Oh, sorry. Tap all the way. Yep, that's fine. What, that your, that's, <laughs> yeah. your, that's your turn, too? I'm not scared at all. All right. Well, I wasn't joking. I don't have anything else to play till turn three, so it's your turn. I will send damage around evenly. <laughs> I will be a kind vampire. <laughs> 
Wait, wait, don't we have to invite you in to hit us, right? That's well, how I'm an ally. Work. It says there on the card, so I think I'm Somebody already, already invited. invited already. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll uh, search for tomorrow. We'll get down to one counter. Throw my card. Prairie Stream comes in tapped because I do not have any basic lands. I'll tap. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to play a Baleful Strix. Oh, well, that's a good one. It is a good card. I won't be attacking you. Yes. This is the plan. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> Easy as that. I'll pass my turn. All right. I don't like any of the things that are happening. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play the Bad River Tapped. Someone can produce green, right? Uh, I can. Yes, yeah, so he can. Great. I will also suspend a search for tomorrow. There you go. What a good play. For green. And uh, and then I will pass the turn. OK. Go with a planes. And time to bring in my commander. Yes. Shanid, Sleeper's Scourge. 2-4 Menace. Other legendary creatures you control have Menace, and whenever I play a legendary land or spell, I draw a card and lose one life. Seems good. <laughs> Even lands. Even <laughs> yeah, lands. exactly. I was like, seems pretty solid. Um, so now, Draina has Menace. Yep. Uh-oh. So now I'm just going to move to combat and attack Veggie. <laughs> And then before damage, I'll go ahead and give target legendary creature plus two plus two. This is four. What, this Good is, news this is, is fine. it wasn't commander damage. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and trigger, uh, whenever she deals combat damage to a player, I'll put a plus one plus one counter on each attacking creature I control. So how much total damage is that? Uh, just four total because the counter goes on for combat damage. Cool. Got it. Man, I'm scared. Yeah, that's the end of my <laughs> turn. Go ahead. Menacing. That was, that was a pretty productive turn. Uh, unfortunately, all I get to play is the Reaver Cleaver. Uh, it's an equipment, and the equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, and has trample, and whenever it deals damage to a player, I get a treasure token. And it's equipped three. But I have nothing to equip it to right now, so it's just going to sit there lonely, and I'm going to pass. Hmm. I don't think it'll be lonely forever. <laughs> Hope not. I'm really hoping not. That's a strong. That's a strong piece of equipment, though. I feel like that's going to come into play sometime. At some uh, point in the future, yes. All right. Um, so my search for tomorrow. Uh, at my upkeep, I'll remove the last counter. I'll search for a basic land and put it onto the battlefield. Okay. Let's see. What do I? Oh, I'm I'm pretty set as far as colors. Right. I could probably use another green. Uh, there's my farce. Comes in. Uh, into play. It's not even tapped like most of these usually are. Gotta love that original time spiral block. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Draw a card. Yes. Play Swamp. One, two, three, four, five mana. Is it Jared time? I mean, he's probably gonna get hit by a drama. Hmm. I've got a, I've got a plan. I'm gonna All tap right. one, two, three, four, five. All the way out. Play Zyrus the Writhing Storm. 3 5 flyer. Opponent draws a card, except for the first one of the turn. Uh, I get a 1 1. When it deals combat damage to a player, uh, we each draw that many cards. Wow. You guys are doing scary stuff. I um, am scared. <laughs> I think that's all for me. I'll pass. All right. Let's go ahead and. Remove one of my suspend counters. I think we might be in some trouble, friend. Tap for a white, because I know that you can produce that. And I'm going to play Hero. Oh, yeah. Um, I remember that card a while back. And then I'm going to tap my Badland and search for a island or swamp and put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle, and then I'll pass my turn. Untap and draw. I will play Shizo, Death Storehouse, uh, which is a legendary land, so I will get a trigger. And Shizo, I can tap it, target legendary creature, gains fear until the end of turn. 
Okay. Draw a card and lose a life. And move to, uh, ooh, ooh. Move to ooh. Move to ooh. Yeah, that's, you don't like the way that sounds <laughs> no. at all. Day of Destiny, also a legendary uh, spell, so I will get a Shenid trigger. Legendary creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Ooh. Draw a card. Okay. Lose a life. Okay. That's a thing. Okay. Move to combat, sending. Oh, this had the counter yeah, on it had one last counter. turn. Yeah. Uh, swing at Draina, at MTG Nerd Girl, and Shenid at Power Dragon, and I'm going to give Draina plus two, plus two. Okay. So that's All right, so first strike happens first. Five, right? Uh, so it's three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah. Oh, All for just this one creature? Yeah. Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and then they get counters, so then I take five. Five. All right, and that's, and that's commander, commander damage, damage, actually. Yeah. I'm going to make a little marker over here that I have five sitting on me. Three, four, five. Pass turn. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, I have choices. I'm just trying to figure out what choice lets me not die so fast. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play Traxos. Scourge of Krug. Uh, big 7-7 seven, seven Trampler. And every time I play... Well, he doesn't untap. But every time I play a legendary thing, or I guess technically historic thing, I actually get to untap him. So, this is pretty cool. Unfortunately, I'm just sitting here to block. So it's going to be your turn. That's a, that's a <laughs> thick blocker, though. It is. It is very sizable. It doesn't stop Drana, though. It doesn't stop menacing things by himself. That's the real yeah. problem. Yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> this is going to be the answer. You're unstoppable. Go for it. Next turn, I have a real plan, though. I got I, I got a plan. So I haven't done anything at all up to this point, and I was planning to try to clear the board to get back in the game, but all of my opponents keep talking about how big of a play they have this for their next turn, so I think I'm just going to not cast anything. I have been doing nothing so far, so I don't think that they'll be suspicious at all. Are you going to board wipe? No. <laughs> I might make even more creatures. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm cool with more creatures. I could do some damage, and that will give me some creatures. Uh, that sounds great. I'm going to go to combat. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. I, it's, it's, I'm not sure who is the threat right now, it's but like I, you know, I'm just, just gonna it. just randomly choose uh, two attack Zimbex. <laughs> just attack with Cyrus um, eh. for three damage. Okay. And when it deals combat damage, we will each, uh, the two of us, will each draw three cards. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. oh it's not even all cool. players. It's just a player you attack. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm here. Man, attack this. me. I'll take the cards. <laughs> Why are you letting the person winning draw some cards? I, I thought it was yeah. all players okay. drawing. Okay, yeah. so what's oh, the catch? That sucks. What's the catch? There's, oh no. There's no catch. Not for you. There's, I get a little extra out of it. I will oh, get three so one bad. one snakes. Um, I would rather you attack me or Nerd Girl, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. I'm gonna get my snakes. I've got three snakes. Um and I drew into exactly what I wanted. I'm going to play another forest, and we're going to cast one of my uh, personal favorite cards. Let's see. We need a green and a black and a blue and oh, a red. So that's too much mana. Stop, stop. That's <laughs> four. Glint Eye Nephilim. This is a 2-2. Two -two. When it deals damage to a player, uh, I draw that many cards, and I can pay one and discard a card to give it plus one, plus one until the end of turn. This is one of my favorite cycles from uh, what, the original Ravnica block. They were super weird and had all four colors. Uh, I'm going to play Obsidian Obelisk. Comes in play tapped, taps for one, or taps for a man of any color, but only to cast multicolor spells. And that is it for my turn. All right. Are these just regular snakes, or do they have death touch or something? They're regular snakes. Okay. I am going to get to cast my search for tomorrow, and I will go ahead and grab a forest. Looks like that search for tomorrow was so long ago. <laughs> I know. It's the only thing I've done. <laughs> I was like, all this happened in between the time you like, 
it's not it's search satisfied. for tomorrow. It's search for next year. Yeah, apparently. You know, Mardu needed <laughs> assistance. I'm going to play Terramorphic Expanse, and I will go ahead and tap two and play a Farseek. Search Ooh. your library for a Plains Islander Swamp Mountain. Put it into Battlefield Tapped. I will just grab the first thing I find. I will take uh, Plains. And honestly, I think that's the end of my turn. Man, that's, that deck is good. Like, the We're playing the same deck. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a Reliquary Tower. I have no maximum hand size. And what that means is don't attack her again. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, maybe maybe now I shouldn't be feeding Zbex cards. Uh, Bantu's monument, black creature uh. spells you cast cost one less to cast, and whenever I cast a creature spell, each opponent loses one life and I gain one life. Yep. Okay. And moving on, we've got uh, for four because it costs one less as a black creature. Arvad, oh, and this was a legendary, so I'll draw a card. Oh, that's true. You draw lose a card. Life, you draw a card. Ooh. Yep. Ooh. Oh. And, and I forgot about this before, Ooh. but I'm not going to miss this again. Uh-oh. Every time that another player draws a card past their first one, I get a snake. So. Oh, boy. Nice. <laughs> mm, this is just going to pile up and good. get worse. And boy. then I'll... Uh, draw a card and lose a life, and yep. then each opponent will lose a life, and I'll gain a life. Ugh. All right, so we each lose one, you lose one, but then you gain three. Oh no, you just gain one from that. Okay, never mind. so that just balances out. Uh, yeah, but I still, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Uh, so now other legendary creatures I control get. Another plus two, plus two. Great. And Arvad, the Cursed, has Death Touch and Life Link. Oh, gosh. I would like to move to combat. <laughs> no effects. Uh, sure. I have a Traxos that I can block. How many untapped Actually, flyers can't block, do you have? Yeah, they have Menace. They all have Menace. I only have one untapped flyer. Okay. I'm going to <laughs> send Drena to Veggie. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to send uh, Shanine. Yeah, neither of us get blocked, so feel free. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Power Dragon. And I will go ahead and give Draina the pump. I like how her board state is getting so big, she's now starting to encroach on Power Dragon. It's all right. I have nothing taking up this real estate. She is totally welcome to have it. <laughs> Thank you. That's very kind, Mardu friend. So that's uh, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, oh my nine, gosh. ten. Trigger. All right, so that's you're taking ten. Ten, ten to me first, yep. lovely. Yep. Then everything's do, do, gonna do, get do, a counter. Do, 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 do. The attacking creatures get yep. a counter. Oh, just attack. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, it's a good start. And then uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Commander All right. damage. So I'm at thirteen commander so damage. So I won't take you out. So I so I die next turn if, if I want me. to. I have it would definitely be eight next time. <laughs> How menacing of me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I lose eight. Okay, um, I'm done. Okay. That's all? That's yeah, all? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is a pre-con. <laughs> <laughs> like, as we need a reminder. So at this point, it's been a little slow. I've got Traxos, and I'm thinking, okay, what if we get one attack in, we get eight treasure, we can be off to the races. I feel like Power Dragon and I have pre-cons. You two, I think, slipped in some extra cards. <laughs> I think I finally get to retaliate, so I'm going to attack Bex for eight. Yeah. With Traxos. It's a trample? Yeah. You know, I have a Death Toucher that's untapped. I just wanted to that's fine. inform you. I, I, need the, I need the treasure. Okay. <laughs> like, like, I'll, I'll just take the eight. I like my anthem too much. He can just go to his ugly death. I need the treasure. So, okay. All right. So he connects for eight, so I get to make eight treasure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. So now we have treasure. Oh, that's I a can, lot of treasure. I can do things. <laughs> oh, no. This is what I was saying. Like, I, I, there was a plan. You're welcome. Admittedly, I didn't think all this was going to happen in between. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. How do I want to spend this? Let's spend four for that. 
So I have oh. my own Shinied. And it untaps the Traxxas. Yeah, exactly. Oh. I play that card a lot in Limited. <laughs> oh, nice. That was a and fun deck. <laughs> then I think I'm going to play... I'm just going to use three of these. And I'm going to camp on one of them. And I'm going to play Cadric, Soul Kindler. He's a 4-3. I no longer have the Legend rule for my Legends. Or actually for Legend Tokens. Uh, specific because whenever I play another legendary creature, I can pay one, and then it copies it, and then it goes away at the end of the turn. It does okay. have haste. So, yeah, I think... Oh, I do lose a life and draw a card, though. Yeah. It's fun, Which, right? Which, you also get one of those. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you get a snake. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. I guess I'm going to use that treasure after all, because... Uh, I have a late turn five soul. <laughs> <laughs> no more treasure. Uh, and I think that's it. Okay. I think this is going to be a big turn. Oh. I kind of assumed. You have a ton of mana and a ton of creatures. There's a lot of snakes. Ooh. Ooh snake. Does that change things? <laughs> I'm a snake. <laughs> The scary thing okay, for real. I've decided, Veggie, you're fired. Would you like to come be my co-host? <laughs> well, you know, anytime you want to have me up, I'm available. <laughs> well, but I won't take your everybody. job. I won't take your job. These could almost you're not taking it. I'm giving it to you. <laughs> oh, okay. You can be a co-host, too. I think I just got the seniority above you. Uh. <laughs> All right. Well, now, that is, I guess I have to, I have to do something big now. Right? Jensen Carthalian, Druid Exile. Pay two for that. Whenever I cast a multicolored spell, I scry one, and if the spell was all colors, I make a 4 4 angel with flying and vigilance. Oh boy. Cool. Yeah. Pretty good. Mm hmm. I thought Jensen was Nurgle's commander. Looks like he's going to be doing some work for me. Why don't we do Maelstrom Angel? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. Five five flyer, and when it uh, hits a player, I can cast a spell for free. One, two, three, four, five. The only good news is it doesn't have haste. It doesn't have haste. <laughs> it doesn't have haste. So you've got to turn to figure out what to do. And because it was all colors, I'm going to get four four angel. Classic. Oh! And the, the best angel you've ever seen. Yep, yep. Okay. Would you like to hit me with that thing that lets us draw cards? Can I? I would like that. <laughs> Actually, kind of yes. I only have three, and I haven't done anything. That's fair. Yeah, and I I feel like this might also help me to keep my job. So uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to combat, uh, and I'm going to attack with Zyrus. Nerd girl, three are come uh, three damage your way. No blocks. All right. <laughs> That's the most enthusiastic no block ever. <laughs> do, do we get to draw cards now? You sure do. Three cards for you, yes. three cards for me. All right. Thank you, Veggie. Two, three. I will get three snakes. That you will. Eight snakes. I'm tapped out. Uh, I have seven cards in my hand, so I guess that's the end of my turn. At the end of your turn, I'm going to crack my Terramorphic Expanse and search for a basic land and put it into play tapped. Seems I'm going good. to, that's what I wanted. Oh my gosh, perfect. Uh, I will get a mountain on your end step. And, oh, clumsy. Ooh. Then I will go to my turn. Um, thank you, Veggie, for helping me out. Any um, time to make sure that any I Any chance you could kill stay. any of these or these things that are threatening our lives. Yes, I think, <laughs> I think in fact that I can. Uh, I'm going to play a Canopy Vista. Comes into play untapped. Uh, white, green, and black. Mm. And we'll do also four more. Oh, okay. And we're going to cast a Dune Blast. Ah! Dune. Up to one creature, destroy the rest. Nice. I would like my hero to, uh, to live, and I would like all of your stuff to die. I got baited. You did. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not even really mad about I'm this. I'm not at really all. mad either. I only played three creatures. Um, so on the stack, I'll make a little thing, but it will also die to the Doom Blast. Yeah, okay. 
All right, my first board clear resolved. So hopefully I can develop the board now that we are at a fresh start. I have some mana and I've got plenty of things in my hand to do. Excellent. Oh. I planned it all along. Um, and Love then it. for the next uh, thing I'm planning to do is I will tap. Um, oh, <clears throat> I cannot. I cannot do that because I tapped very poorly. A token. What? A human token. It, it goes away from the Dune Blast because oh, it's it? on cast. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, this is still on the okay, stack. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I, wanted, I wanted you to have more creatures than everybody. I was going to try because I tapped poorly, okay. though. But <laughs> he now just I, shows up. He's like, hey, guys, what's going on? Oh! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and then I will pass my... Oh, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to attack. Who am I going to attack? Let's go with z -Bex. I will return the favor for two much. damage. I'll take it. And then I'll pass the turn. Okay. So I was going to cast it last turn, but everybody was like, I'm going to do stuff on my turn. So yeah. I was like, I'll just wait <laughs> I mean, to be turn. fair, you still have a fistful of cards. So I do. it's not like the worst thing for you. I just liked what I had. <laughs> also I did fair. not. I did not. <laughs> so Shanid now costs six. So I will add but one less because it's a black... Creature or spell, so I'll tap one, two, or yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Let's bring my commander back out to play. Sure. Okay, and then I will play my land for the turn. Gyre Reach Sanitarium. I will draw a card and lose one life. And I'll get a snake. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, that used to happen. No I, more snakes. I remember those days. Um, also, you'll all lose a life, and I gain oh, a yeah, life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. More That's triggers from the ETB. That's yes. still a thing. And, you know, it doesn't have haste or anything, so call that good. Okay. okay. Play an arcane signet. And play an Odric, Lunark Marshall, who's kind of a lame 3-3 three, three by himself. But when I have other things, he gains all their abilities at the uh, start of combat. And I think that's going to be it for this turn. Okay. So not a problem now, but eventually. Could be in the future. Eventually. All right. Big draws. First one. Two. Just making sure I'm tapping everything correctly. How about a hero of Precinct One? Oh, yeah. Got a friend. Got a friend. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, and then I'm going to cast Jared Carthal. Oh boy. I get a human for casting a multicolored spell. Jared has got a lot going on. Uh, Planeswalker, five loyalty. Uh, we're going to use the first ability, increase to six to make a 3-3 three, three Kavu uh, that has trample and is all colors. I can also minus three loyalty uh, to choose up to two creatures and put counters on them equal to their colors. And a minus six return target multicolored card. Return target multicolored card from your graveyard to your hand if you that card was all colors. Draw a card and create two treasure tokens. Okay. There is my rainbow Kavu. I pass the turn. All right. Okay. I'm going to play a Smoldering Marsh. There's a lot of stuff going on. I don't really like it. I just cleared the board. Now everybody's got like so much going on again. That was the plan. It is... It is concerning. It's um, interesting knowing that you have the same deck as I do because I'm looking at a lot of things in my hand and I'm like, I hope I hope she doesn't play this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the opposite way where I'm like, oh, I hope I draw that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that looks fun. <laughs> All right. I am going to go ahead and also play a Jared. Mm. Uh, I will also plus one and get a Kabu token. Kabu tokens for everybody. Kabu token. And I'm also going to get a bonus human from my hero that you will. of Precinct 1. That's a nice setup. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and then 
Oh, she's plotting things. I, I, I messed up a little bit. I should have probably played this guy first. So I'm also going to cast my commander, Jensen Druid Exile. Okay. And it's going to be white and green. Have to go this way. We'll get another human token. Who doesn't have anything to block with? Not nobody? I have a singular 3-3. Three, three. Okay, I will pass my turn because my hero cannot attack through that. On your end step, oh. I will tap two, activating Gyre Reach Sanitarium. Each player draws a card, then discards a card. Okay. I'll take that. Yeah, see, I'm hoping. I will get rid of Kodama's Ooh. Reach. I discarded a Plains. I will discard Abundant Growth. I don't think I need to fix my mana. This is tough because I kind of want the land, but I'm going to go ahead and discard a mobilized district. Okay, we're all good. I think so. Mm -hmm. I will proceed to my turn. Sounds fun. Let's, with one colorless floating, cast Knight's Whisper. You draw two cards and you lose two life. Living dangerously. Yeah, I think Zbex might do more damage to herself than we will. <laughs> I think I have done more damage to myself. You definitely have. I connected for eight months. You. The rest is all you. Oh, it's not true. And the three yeah, damage yeah, you I, have to draw cards. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've taken some from everybody. Oh, okay, and this. Oh, <laughs> that seems fun. More fun. Can we do that? Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, and I haven't played my land for the turn. So we're gonna cast Blade Wing Deathless Tyrant. Oh, I've got the mount in there to come in for that. Uh, Flying Haste 6-6. Six, six. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, for each creature card in my graveyard, currently two, create a 2-2 two, two black zombie knight creature token with menace. Exciting. Oh no, not again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not again. We've seen this before. Oh, this is the one with the really cool art too, right? With like the belly full of it's zombies flames. or something. Yeah. yeah. Are there zombies in there? Oh, there are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do we feel about these planeswalkers? A little concerning because there's going to be Kabu every turn. I'm concerned about that one. He has a lot more cards in I, hand. But, uh, I'll use the cards and then I won't have as many in hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an argument. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm gonna do things with these cards. He also has multicolor spells in his yard. Hey. Five color spells. I do not. Before I forget, I'm gonna do the trigger and everybody uh, loses yeah. a life. Loses a life and I gain a life. Yeah, let's go ahead and move to combat. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to send. We have two blockers though. Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. I see, you both have two blockers. Uh, so we'll send Bladewing to your Jared and Shanid to your Jared. Oh, Bladewing has haste too? Oh. Yeah, flying Gosh. haste. Oh, you know, so, no big deal. Brutal. So that, that thing Flaced. is just menacing, right? Oh, and I missed my trigger, but we're wow, having so many triggers with this deck. That's a lot. Yeah. Um, okay. If it's just menacing, I will just block with my two humans in attempt to save my planeswalker. Yeah. Okay, goodbye, humans. I They did their job by you. You served me well. Do not have any flyers. And so, goodbye, Jared. Okay. That's my turn. Okay, so now there's a dragon to deal with. <laughs> like, I feel like every time I get something going, I'm like, there's a new problem. <laughs> Bex, I may need to attack you just to get mana. Okay. Just to get more <laughs> treasure. <laughs> Maybe there's some black card in my deck that wants me to be at 20 or below. Okay, let's... <laughs> we'll go ahead and equip up. I will attack for oh. four. Okay, we take it. <laughs> yeah, just four. But we do get treasure again, which is important. Oh, thank you. It's fine. We wouldn't want you to forget. You no, know. no. Three, four... Four. And we're going to go ahead and play Naheb, Dreadhorde Champion. He's a 5-4 with Trample. Whenever he deals combat damage to a player or a Planeswalker, I can discard any number of cards. And if I do, I draw that many and add a red for each of those. Let's go ahead and use one more treasure. Actually, I did this wrong. I should have done it in the other order. 
Because then I too would have a Bontu's monument and would have got to drain everybody. But. Oh no. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, that's it. Go ahead. Yeah, these decks have a lot of a lot of <laughs> little pieces to oh, remember sorry. to to catch. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was really excited to have Jared uh, for this turn, but it's it's fine. It's totally fine. At least he's your commander too. That's right. just in your deck, so maybe that's why you get one more turn. Well, him, Jared. Hmm. I appreciate us. Yeah. <laughs> that one's coming back. <laughs> I think I can't pass up the opportunity to cast this because this I think uh -oh. is kind of broken. Uh, Let's see it. Uh oh. One, two, three, four, five, six to cast. Two-headed Hellkite. Oh, god! It's a 5-5 five, five flying menace haste. When it attacks, I draw two cards. Okay. What? A You're lot. finally being menacing. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and I will get another human from Hero Precinct 1. Let's do some damage and draw some cards. You know what? If I don't get to play with Jared... Nobody gets to play with Jared. Oh, no. If I can't have you, nobody can. <laughs> <laughs> Two-headed Hellkite will attack uh, your Jared Carthalian. Your okay. Girl. Well, I have no flying blocks, so he's going to take the five damage and go down to just a tiny, tiny little one loyalty. Hmm. He lives, but... He lives, just barely. Yep. I'm going to draw my two cards. Okay. Play Arcane Sanctum as my land for the turn. I think I'll have to pass and discard a card. Um, let's get rid of Farseek. I think I'm okay as far as mana. Fair. Veggie has so much of the card draw, and I do not. All right. Let's tap. Draw. Okay, I think I just have to do the thing. So it sucks, but... I mean, I don't think there's a lot of ways I'm going to be getting around this. What's going to happen? So we're going to go uh, white, black, and we need two more. We will just do these two. No. And uh, we're going to cast Merciless Eviction. I'm going to choose one and exile all creatures. I should have attacked first, but, you know, I got too excited. Um, when I cast, I'm going to go ahead and scry because of my dude. Sure. Yes, and you will kill the two zombies that I did not make that I forgot, but it doesn't matter anyway. You knew. You didn't want exactly, to extra, exactly. act too much trouble. I am good with that, I guess. Okay. I kind of have to be. <laughs> I, I was turning my commander These are to exiled command too, zone. right? Oh, uh, they're exiled. They are indeed yeah. exiled. Yeah. All right. And then I will um, plus my commander, uh, or sorry, my um, planeswalker, and make another kavu. Oh, and my, my little guy is not actually exiled. He, he, he. Um, he has been played one additional time. True. And I will go ahead and just cast for two extra my commander. And I will pass the turn. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> well, I am not going to draw as many cards with my commander being out, but we'll still make it happen. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Recast my commander for the third time. Uh, again. <laughs> uh, everyone loses a life and I gain a life. True. And next we'll get some stuff happening. Uh, let's go ahead and play a legendary spell, everybody, no, no, it's not black. I get to draw a card <laughs> and lose a life. And now with Tenza, Godo's Maul, equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. As long as it's legendary, it gets an additional plus two, plus two. As long as it's red, it has trample. Uh-oh. Nice. But I have no leftover mana. I'm, I did not play a land for the turn. I do have some mana. I will play this foreboding ruins, revealing a mountain from my hand. So it comes into play untapped. And then, quip. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A nine, eleven, trample, okay. menace. Okay. okay. That's a real thing. As always, very menacing. Yeah. <laughs> menacing. Wait, wait, just to check. Oh. It can be a nine, right? Sure. If well, it's seven right now, but yeah. Oh, it could be nine. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Could be a nine. Is that it? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that I'm tapped out. That was a good turn, though. Thank you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and cast Knight's Whisper. I'm going to lose two, draw two. Mm -hmm. All right, that's still not going to be enough. Dang it. <laughs> like, I'm so you have close. one treasure? I know. I'm like, oh, I'm so, okay. uh, but it's, I can't do anything. What I, like, the thing I need to do, I don't think I can do it till next turn. Okay. That's That's the rough part. Uh, all right, so I guess I'm just going to play the Hada here. I think it's going to be the plan. Ooh. Let's go ahead and get her down. First appearance of the Hada. Yep. Cool. Uh, I'm going to do plus two here to up to one target legendary creature gains Vigilance, Lifelink, Indestructible until end of turn, or until my next turn. I have none, but I'm just going to do it just to plus her and just have her sit out there. And sadly... That is going to be my turn. So I'm going to pass. All right. Sadly <laughs> for you, but... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody's got some stuff. Not the scariest stuff, but I think soon to I mean, be... I don't know. That thing's big. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, I think I'm pretty threatening. <laughs> Not excuse me, hmm. menacing. Hmm. <laughs> That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, ooh, yes, I'm very scared of that. I definitely do not have an answer to it in my hand. Oh. Fair, fair. Go ahead. Um, Play your answer. I'm tapped out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, no, no. I think you should have some fun with it. Oh, okay. Just, like, maybe not in Good. my direction. You can do some other things first. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to cast Atla Palani, a fan favorite. Tap one, two, three, four. Tap two and tap it to make a zero one egg with defender and whenever an egg dies, I reveal from the top until I hit a creature and I get that. One, two, three, four mana left. We definitely should do something with that. Um, he said, choosing not to do anything with that. I'm gonna play a Savage Lands tapped and pass my turn. All right. All them cards. <laughs> We're up to something over there. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try to do some stuff. Finally, I would appreciate that. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to do some cool things. I think. So we have all of our colors, a black and a colorless, uh -oh. and we are gonna go ahead and cast our very own two-headed hellkite. No. And when I play a all-colored spell, I make a four-four angel token. It's like we've seen this before. Yeah. <laughs> so it begins. And I have my own hasty dragon that does some cool stuff. That you do. pretty cool. Um, who am I a little scared of? I feel like I don't like your planeswalker. That's fair. Um, She's really not doing much right now. I have nothing. We are going <laughs> to... You have no other creatures? No, I literally have nothing. I was like, she's, she's kind of worthless with nothing else on the board. It's like, sure, if she dies, she dies. Whenever this text... Okay, I'm going to come I'm gonna come in to the planeswalker for seven. Sure. And to veggie for three. Hey, I declare no blocks, but you do get to draw your cards first. Excellent. Yeah, this is fine. Take two damage. Three. Three damage. Math. And I drew my two cards. I'm going to go ahead and plus my planeswalker to go to three, and I will make a secondary Kavu. When they're untapped, I will fix that. Yeah. And I'm also going to pay one to, uh, a, this is tapped, sorry. I'm going to pay one to Abundant Growth a Choices. Plains <laughs> and draw a card when it enters the battlefield. That's going to be my turn. What's next? <sighs> Big damage, I think, is next. Probably. Hmm. I don't like that big dragon thing, I don't think. It's not going to come for you. Okay. What? <laughs> That's all it took? I actually, like, so quickly accepted that. Like, well, just for now. Like, it's not going to for you. Oh, okay. Like, like what? <laughs> well, you don't know 
what I'm gonna play it. So. Well, that's also true. All right, let's see. I'll start off nice and simple with a mountain, and Hero's Blade, which is an artifact. It's equipped creature gets plus three plus two, and whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield, I just get to attach Hero's Blade to it. So okay. guess what's coming next? Cadric, Soul Kindler. Uh, we've seen this legend, the 4 3 makes a token copy. Uh, legend rule doesn't apply. And now I'll get to equip Hero's Blade to this legendary creature. I will also have a trigger to draw a card and lose a life. I'm going to move to combat. Brittany, you have the highest life total. So I'm going to attack you with a menace creature. How big is it? Uh, currently, it's a three, four, five, seven, six, seven, seven, seven nine. Seven, nine. Yeah. seven, nine. That's not too much damage. I think <laughs> I think I might just want to take that. Um, yeah, it's just to your face, not to Jared. I want to live in Nerd Girl's world. Like, so, right. That's not so much damage. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not the scariest thing ever. Uh, yeah, we're just going to take that. So no blocks. I'll give it plus two, plus two. So Great. It's actually nine. Oh. I'll take nine. And that is that is commander damage. That is commander damage. If I had shot that over to Power Dragon, uh, agreed. we dead so. All right, I will have nine commander damage on me. Okay. Pass turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you said like nothing happened on your turn. I was like, that was huge. Oh, boy. Making everyone sweat, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> like, your boards have been great this whole game. Okay. Um, Thank you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because it's minus one, sure. Finally, got everything clear. I've been sitting on this Jasu the whole damn game. Finally, we're gonna get to cast it, get all these zombies. Hopefully, it gets the job done. We're gonna play kicker on this guy. Oh. Oh. So, Army in a card. Jasu Vess, Lich Knight. He's a four, five. He has kicker of six, which, you know, was reduced by one because of this lovely Bantu monument. And he has menace, and when he enters the battlefield, if he was kicked, I get to make eight two two zombie knight tokens. Yeah. So we yeah. get eight little duders. That's cool. fine. So you, what, you cast one spell, you got uh, nine creatures. Yeah, that took a little while. It's just like we, how your we treasure. Found, we found something though. That's my turn. <laughs> As I've used all my mana. Should we also lose a life? Oh yeah, I guess so. Everybody loses life. I actually get to game. That's the first time that's actually done something for me this game. Hey, look, you're massively in the lead now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> by, by a little bit. Yeah, now just you should take seven damage at some point. It's not that much. That's true. I think at the end of your turn, I will cast Abzan Charm. I think I'm going to incur the wrath of Nerd Girl and uh, exile Jensen. All right. Ooh. That will be the second oh. time I have cast to him. It would be uh, if I read my cards. It is Exile Tar creature with power three or greater. Oh! Three or greater. Well, there are dragons. There are there are dragons. That thing is way worse. That thing, that is true. I think, is way worse. Uh, <laughs> I think we've got to get rid of... Uh, Which thing? I, you, your point was very vague. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I mean, they're both pretty good, honestly. I know. Because <laughs> Shanid, Shanid comes right back. But is it at least expensive? Yeah. Um, I can afford it. I mean, she's not. <laughs> you know what? For that, <laughs> you need exiled. Go back to the command back zone. Back to the command zone. Okay, that is all for the end of your turn, Power Dragon. Let's untap. <laughs> yep. This might not be the best play, but I think it's really cool. You sure you don't want to just make an egg? You could just make an egg. You know what? That's, that's a great idea. I'm just going to make an egg. I'm going to pay two uh, to make a zero one green egg with Defender. And um, I guess I guess I should do just a little bit more. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to tap. Sure. One, two, three. Does this leave me with the correct mana, which I always do? Um, to play Coalition Relic. Oh. I will yeah. tap, uh, let's see, what's it be? Five. I'm going to cast Time Wipe. So I'll return a creature I control oh, to its owner's no. hand and destroy all creatures. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and no. Yeah, I might as well. It's just sitting in my hand. 
Unbreakable formation. Oh, Creatures wow. I control gain indestructible. That's so it didn't good. do anything against the exile, and it's only my one no, creature. No, that's, that's great. But it seems actually. pretty good, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's my one left. She's going to kill you on the crack bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tapped out too. <laughs> yep. Um, okay. Uh, all right, so that mm. was Zebex protected her creature, and the rest of us scoop up our stuff. They all die. Uh, yes, and then he gets to resolve whatever this. Oh, yeah. Okay, All goodbye, right. things. Right. My soul kindler can still kindle souls. <laughs> <laughs> just just not my soul, please. It's probably your soul. My I'm eight. trying so hard. <laughs> I haven't got to keep a creature for more than two turns. <laughs> Are we ready for this egg to hatch? Yeah, yeah. let's do okay. what you get. See. Reveal until I hit a creature. Path to exile. Would have liked to have that. Small, tiny. This is like suspenseful, honestly. You're lucky you got rid of all these lands. Yeah, oh actually, you are really lucky. <laughs> wow. Seriously? <laughs> You've been on lands for you days. You are no longer. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. I hatched a Ciroc Dragon Claw. <laughs> six, six. Can't be countered. Creature spells I control can't be countered. And other creatures I control trample. Um, yeah, not sure how I fit inside that egg, but I, I'll take it. That's the end of my turn. Eggs are larger in Tarkir. They have dragons there. They're like a TARDIS. Yes. <laughs> 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 yes. That's canon. All right, my turn? Mm hmm All right. Yeah, we're getting close to the end here. Everybody's life total yeah. is just like yeah. steadily shrinking. So we just need someone to make the breakaway. This game is hard. It is. <laughs> It's a lot easier if you don't think about your plays. That's my trick. Hey, listen yeah. to the internet. Everybody's better at it than the next person. It's just how it is. I'm sure the comments will say so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uptick Jared, and I'm going to get a little Kabu friend, Kabu. and I'm going to play an Evolving Wilds, and I'm going to go ahead and pass the turn. Mm. Mm. How much? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, How seven, eight, nine, ten hand? mana available. Huh. I have six cards in hand. <laughs> Something terrible is going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Battlefield Forge. So I have to pay ten now? Yeah, easy. Ten okay. mana. But it's one less, so nine. I will cast Shanid, Sleeper's Scourge. Five, six, seven. Uh, everybody lose a life and I'll gain a life. Ouch. Again. Equip Tenza Godo's Maul so to Cadric Soul Kindler. I'm looking at you, Veggie. I'm moving to combat. Menace. Uh, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It's so much. It's uh, just, aren't you glad I didn't pay the one to like make another one? Well, um, I can't you're not block dead. that. I'm you're, not, you're still alive. <laughs> yeah, I'm still alive. I'm at three. Ish. I'm at three. What could go wrong? Okay, pass. Oh, gosh. The worst part is I'm next in line, I'm sure. So I got to try to figure something out here. Are you, though? You don't have as much that's going on have... as Nerd Girl at the moment. That's very true. I'm just going to cast Read the Bones right now, and okay. we're going to see what happens. That's too scary. You should kill him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> try to. Uh, I know how those bones, you know, the, the script on them. Uh... Might be too much information. <laughs> out of control. Also... Shut it down. You're you're a brave man for for losing life right now. I know, but I don't have a choice. All right, let's at least put one of these on the bottom, and then I will draw this and whatever this card is, and we will lose two life. It's a black spell. We all lose life. No, it has to be a black creature. creature. Stop trying to make it would me just lose more life. <laughs> Read the bones, kill veggie. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so if I play three creatures next turn, I can just kill so, veggie. That's cold. Like, I'm playing Alesha. Okay. Nice. Three, two, first strike. Uh, when she attacks, I could pay two black or white mana and return a creature with power two or less from my graveyard to the battlefield tapped and attacking. And we'll play a Dragon Skull Summit. 
I might, I'm just going to clip up here. I think I am. And what does that give it again? It's the uh, treasures. Yeah, plus one, plus one, and trample, and however much damage it deals, I get that many treasures. Okay. And then that's it for the turn. Okay. Okay. I'm at three. That's fine. That's good. Good at three. Three life. Well, at least this will give me uh, another creature on the board. I'm going to recast my commander, Jared Cathal. Sure. It's going to cost me seven mana. Yeah. Six. Seven. I'm going to use the plus one ability to make a 3-3 three, three Kabu. And I'm gonna have to chill. Um, okay. Uh, on your end step, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, crack my Evolving Wilds. Um, this comes into play tapped, so I don't cheat. Um, oh darn, you're really gonna mess that one man. You know, I might. <laughs> I might. Okay, so let's see how many things I can cast on your end step. So I'm just going to flash in my own... Surak? Surak. Right. Ah, all right, yeah. <laughs> and then I'll go to my turn. Oh, all right, that was not as bad as I thought. We hit the uh, under. It wasn't even... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I tried. I was going to. I was thinking about it. But uh, I'll go ahead and play a forest for turn. I don't have enough to do both. Mm, okay. That's Thank sl <laughs> slightly like, hold on. Like, what's going on now? Unfortunate. It's okay though. All right. So let's see what kind of havoc we can cause. I'm gonna cast Unite the Coalition. What's this? I can choose five of these things. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, target creature phases out. I can draw a card, exile target player's graveyard, deal two damage to any target, and destroy an artifact and enchantment. Mm. Should I just kill Veggie with two of them? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, because you can. I, for a second, I was like, all right, at least I'm still alive. No way, because you, you can choose any this. target. Yeah, that's true. You totally can. Go for the V. Yeah. Um, but I don't w. think Three. that I will. Yeah. I can choose the same mode. Yeah. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to mostly destroy all of her artifacts and enchantments. I mean, because I you're a lot. she's a lot yeah. less scarier that way. Yeah. So what are the scariest things you have over here? It's like these three things, I this think? This thing's pretty scary. This thing's not as scary because it's only one creature, but it has been getting in work every time. And these things. She has, so you're saying you have a lot of scary? A little bit, but I mean, that thing's also scary. Yeah. We should get well, rid of that artifact, The problem too. is I only have this left even if I do get the treasure. Oh, that's, well, that's, you're like, that, it doesn't matter anymore. It was yeah, way better in the early exactly. game. Exactly. That's, that's the downside. I have nothing to play with it. I still think you should kill Veggie. I, 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 uh... He's, he said there could only be one Jared Carthelian, and currently there is two. I think it's time to he use his words back I, at him. I don't remember that. I think I made a good case. I would like to destroy this, this, and this, and I will destroy this and deal two damage to that. Ooh. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> and then, Veggie, I'm a little oh, it's okay. scared got, of you. Are I'm you going next to attack in line me? At this point, after Veggie dies, anyway. You're not going to attack me. You're going to die if you attack me. So I will plus my planeswalker. <laughs> I love how she just straight up like, "You're not doing a damn thing." <laughs> also, go ahead and cast the Ooh. Apex ah, of Wishes. Yes. I will pass the turn. I thought that was going to be a more explosive turn than it was. Started out like it was gonna be. Yeah. Looks, it looks pretty good to me. <laughs> Far less easy to kill anybody now than it was previously without all my fancy I mean, stuff. I know. <laughs> except I know. for me. Except for me. It's still very easy to kill me. <laughs> I could. I could. We don't really like how big Jared is getting. I don't think that's a little too powerful. Does the table agree? I, yeah, the I table agrees. That, yeah. that one's bigger. Oh, uh, numbers are subjective. <laughs> <laughs> But unfortunately, I know you're not going to attack Nerd Girl because I'm going to kill you. So I think that means I don't know if you're on my side. So I'm a little concerned. Zebex just said she's got a way to kill one of the Planeswalkers. But I'm hoping because Veggies can ultimate and mine can't, I can talk her into killing his and not mine. The, the only thing I would say about that one is it can ultimate and he can get any multicolor spell back. Oh, it's that true. true. It, I don't it's know. before your turn. Yeah, yeah, that is true. I could just kill Veggie. Can That's I just a good kill point. Veggie? 
So it only this, I it gets a five I color just spell, kill right? Veggie. Uh, I, it's that I, time of the game, friends. I mean, we gotta make you know more, we can't all be friends. No, it's that time of the night. Uh, we're gonna cast Audric Lunar Marshall yeah. at the beginning of each combat. Creatures you control gain first strike until end of turn. If a creature you control has first strike, the same is true for flying, death, a jump strike, haste, iceberg, indestructible, lightning, minus, rage, gold, okay. travel, and fish balls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a lot of text on all there. All the words. I love so, that song. so if one creature <laughs> has it, they all have it? They all have yep. it. Okay. And this, I also am going to pay the additional cost. Oh. Because it's a legendary creature. Yep. Oh, nice. Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh, lose a life? Yeah. Uh, you have two creatures? I have two creatures. Okay, but none of them are black. Who am I going to kill you with? The smallest one. Oh, but you're like, let me count the ways. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shanid is the smallest, so I'm going to activate Shizo and give Shanid fear. Yeah. I'll move to combat. Mm -hmm. uh, we will swing Shanid at Veggie. Cvex thinks that she's going to take me out. Come on. You know exactly what's coming. And I'm going to get to alt my Planeswalker next turn. This one's in the bag. Can you gain one life? I cannot. Oh. But I can do this. Uh oh. I'm going to. I will still have more attackers to declare, just as a. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not done declaring attackers. Oh no, I don't have anything to do. I. Uh, that's how. It's me, very they're unfortunate. They're not all coming at you, though. I'm going to okay. send them to other yeah, people. Yeah. I wanted to make sure before okay. stuff fair. gets sure. on mm -hmm. the stack, because this guy has haste. That's true. It's a 3 3. Yeah, I guess I'm sending it to you. Totally understandable. And. and uh, we'll send. Cadric, Soul Kindler, to MTG Nerd Girl. Oh, no. Oh. Um, so that thing is okay. just how big now? Uh, it's a 4 3 with Menace. Mm. Okay. I've got no blocks, so 3 3 is getting through over here. I will block with a Sorok and one of my Kabu. I will give it plus 2 plus 2. Okay. So. I'm guessing this dies? Yeah. I'm well, gonna... all right, hold on. are well, we ready? Yeah, yeah now. That are we've... we ready to go to damage? Uh, yes. Um, Do you have a one yeah. mana fog? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right. One mana fog. I'm going to cast Beast Within, targeting uh, Shanid. Yeah, so you can have a beast. I'll have a beast. You can have 3 3 beast. That's nice, right? Um, okay, okay. It's, it's perfect. So yeah, my I have a, I would like a beast, please. A, I, I, I can a three three beast, and I'll put my uh, four counter on Shanid. You're I'm still lose alive. Three from the fake ogre. And I am gonna trade my dragon claw with your creature. Yeah, because I I wanted to get some of that power off the board. I was willing to do that. Okay. Because I thought Veggie was just gonna go away and disappear. Nerd girl, you get a gift because I'm no longer targeting uh -oh. your Jared. What? what? Hero's oh, downfall. I will destroy target creature or planeswalker. Sorry, was I supposed to set it I down mean, on my battlefield? No, no, actually, <laughs> it, it landed so cleanly. She's like, take this. I mean, you're still alive? <laughs> I'm still alive, yeah. but I really needed that. <laughs> Okay, and then I will uh, move to my end step, and this little guy dies. I tried to take out Veggie. <laughs> Gave it my best shot. Play a land. We're going to tap five. Hero's Podium. It's a legendary artifact. Each legendary creature I control gets plus one, plus one for each other legendary, you know. Hmm. <laughs> all those creatures I have. But I can pay X and tap it. Look at the top X cards in my library. I can reveal a legendary creature card from among them, put it into my hand, put the rest on the bottom in a random order. I guess I'm going to go ahead and just pay two and play a hero's play with no creatures, mm -hmm. with all my things. And that's it. Okay. 
I left. I'm alive. Oh, that's I'm true. Alive. Your Bondo's monument could have been deadly as well. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I mean, There's I, I had so much that I yeah. Because I was I was, hold, I was holding the beast and I was like, all right, I maybe I'll have to kill the monument <laughs> if somebody plays like one more creature. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. Fourteen. Seventeen. He's doing algebra. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, I like, got rid of Jared, but now I'm scared. Yeah, I thought you saved the table from something <laughs> bad. You might have gotten rid of Jared, but now you're scared. <laughs> Close. That was Wh almost whoever's okay. editing that, don't, make, don't put that in. It's him. <laughs> I do not have what I need in hand, so I'm going to tap one... Two, three, Commander Sphere. I'm going to tap it to float a green mana and then sacrifice this to draw a card. All right, good luck. Yep. Green. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight mana left. I don't think I make it to my turn. Maybe if I do cast this cool thing. One green, two, three, four, five for fusion elemental. It's an eight eight, and that's it. It's just a big eight eight body. It's a big old eight eight. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to cast Salvala. Yeah. Um, Okay, my three, so uh, I can tap, everybody reveals the top card, I add some mana to my mana pool for uh, each non-land, and then each player draws a card. Uh, oh, and I would gain some life if that happens, so. So we can't let that happen. I, I, <laughs> you can, you can. But we're not going to, maybe. I, I really want to attack, I feel like this is a terrible idea, but I think no matter what, I'm going to be dead, so I'd like to do some stuff. z -Bex. Yes. These are for you. A parting gift. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have veggie. So, Brittany has 12 power on board right now, so I can't really just take it. Mm -hmm. Oh, true, yeah. Um, but Siroc doesn't have uh, trample. trample. No. So this beast you gave me, mm -hmm. block. and I will take three. Okay. Poor I did, I did some work. With that, I will pass my turn. Okay. Nobody has much mana open, right? I've got four mana open. I have three. All Zero. Right. And my creature spells that might have flash cost one less. Just saying. That's true. Yeah, I mean, this is a little bit specific. All right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mutate. Oh. Cool. Nethral Apex of Death. Um, it's going to do some crazy stuff, That's right? That's the return stuff, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It does. Oh, really good. No. White, green, black. And, uh, oh, actually, it's, uh, the mutate's actually double black. Sorry. Double black. And a green. And then four random. Pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. We're going to mutate it onto a Kavu. And I get... 10 power back from my graveyard. Um, so my 10 power, I, we're for sure going with five for the two-headed Hellkite. Mm. Yeah, we will. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and right the funny thing you. is, I think that's literally all I could do. Veggie definitely has to die. I, I don't know why that Here, is. Hang on, let's see what this <laughs> does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they just get plus five, plus five each. Yeah, yeah. counters. Okay. So, so before combat, we're going oh, to. That was really good. We're going to minus. Yeah. Yep. That was on the minus ability this whole time. Yep. Minus Jared. This is why I got rid of him the first <laughs> time he came around. I, I, I knew. And uh, we'll just put them on our. Seems good. Yeah, big seems boys. Really good. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack Veggie for five. Okay, well, Veggie, can you kill us both? I don't think so. I think it's close. Oh. If this comes to you, that I need 11 damage, so this would kill you. So yeah, I think I'll just do that. I'll just do that and then 10 to, to you. Okay. I am going to activate 
my hero's podium to see what I would have had. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and respond too before damage, just in case. Ooh. I don't know what I could. I'll, I think that's probably the best. Gyre Reach Sanitarium. Uh, so we draw, draw discard. a card and then discard a card. Yeah. I'm going to discard a land. Oh, where was that? That would have been so good forever ago. Oh, well, I'm going to die just the same. I will okay, I, I have no effect. I was wave just right. finder. I'm dead to exactly zero. I, I'm down to five. Want to just oh. check because what was it that you were sending at me? And that is just a five-five death touch life link, right? Oh, I thought this thing had. I sent the wrong thing to you. I thought this was the flyer. I got confused. Oh, did well. It is indeed just a five-five. That's what I thought. Uh, oops. I'm going to block it with fusion elemental. Okay. It will trade. It will it trade. Is, it is death touch. I I misplayed there. I thought this was the flying one. Oops. Okay. Uh, I'll gain five and my Kavu will die. That All was right. a mistake. I am dead, skis. I wasn't the first one out. Um. <laughs> well, I I really kind of can't let you live because then because you have a lot of stuff now, now, so, like, now you die on principle so now yeah now I have to cast uh, oh, I have. black red green and I have exactly enough so I'll lava lance you <laughs> for I will lava lance you for two more veggie to cover my mistake because I cannot let you live welcome Excellent. to the club she got a two for mm -hmm. <laughs> I might not be dead yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the I, I made sure to make myself look so defenseless. Uh, I don't like Jared being here, so I'm gonna attack him for three. He is dead. I am going to cast Kaya's Wrath. Destroy all creatures. You gain life equal to the number of creatures destroyed this way. Okay. My creatures are dead. Uh, how many were there? Uh, I had three, right? Three. So then I had... Oh, you controlled. I've never cast this spell before. I'll gain <laughs> one life. Cool. Who plays Orzhov? <laughs> <laughs> Make chat real mad. Uh, then uh, this we're gonna go ahead and bring Carrie Zen, Skyship Raider. Oh, oh. <laughs> we will have to change into something later. Uh, <laughs> like that. First strike menace when she attacks, create Regavand, a legendary two one monkey creature token. ETB's tapped and attacking. Exile it at the end of combat. And sure wish I didn't throw that creature at you and waste my lava lanch because that would be that would be and useful. And you uh, lose a life and I uh, gain a life. Yeah, right. Uh, I will just uh, pass the turn. Really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, Lots right. of these for a long time. Oh, uh, actually, that's not bad though. Yeah, and All actually, right. I forgot about it last time when I got mm. reached for it, but now I have it. Tap. Gotcha. So maybe it worked out. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I had Zbex dead on board, but this little board clear only is a small speed bump because I have this massive 1010. And even if she manages to kill that, it's gonna be huge. I'm gonna go ahead and cast a Primeval Spawn. Ooh. It does some stuff. Uh, it is Vigilance, Trample, and Lifelink, and it, when it leaves the battlefield, I may reveal the top 10 cards of my library and Ew. cast them. What? <laughs> For free. No. So it, it, does, <laughs> it does some stuff. This is five. That, that makes it less exciting. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot that was a magic card for a second. Okay. I wanna get rid of that. I will take the chance. Ooh, Mortify, destroy target creature or enchantment. That okay. one. So it is indeed dead. It's a and dear thing. <laughs> oh, Google, I would have waited to you at least attack it. And I lose it. I lose a life. Well, I could have I don't know. So oh, yes, just a double check. Go. I'd rather see what I get and then <laughs> maybe You may cast any number of them. No, one. maybe she'll have all lands. Two. Two. Lands. Three. Three. Oh. Four. Maybe this was a bad idea. One, <laughs> it was bad anyway. Seven. 
Oh, she hey, has oh, too much no. life. Oh no. Nine, ten. Ooh. Oh no. Well, well I can give me a three three beast if you want. The good news is it's not as bad as it could have been. All right, I'm not gonna lie. That was the saddest ten card flip I think I could have possibly imagined. I got some value back on board and certainly not going to complain because Zbex is pretty low and it might be enough to kill her. But I thought for sure I was going to flip some pretty hefty bombs. So I'm going to go ahead and cast Prismitic, pr prism <laughs> <laughs> Prophetic Prism. And when it enters the battlefield, I draw a card. Uh -huh. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and cast Maelstrom Nexus. Gross. My next spell I cast has Cascade. Um, well, the first you cast each turn. Oh, the first spell I cast each turn. I see, I see. Okay, so that no longer works. Um, I'm going to kill my prism and Ooh. get a beast. Mm, nice. Yep. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cast. I'm just going to cast all of it, right? Yeah, yeah, you should. Enters the battlefield, reveal the top card of your library if it's a land. It is not, and if it is not, it goes into my hand. Yep. And we'll go ahead and cast this, and it says, enters the battlefield tapped, and it creates some mana. This will get cast, but it does nothing, because we cast no mana. Mm -hmm. And this one we will search for up to two basic lands, and uh, put one on the battlefield and one in my hand. Yeah, that could have been worse. <laughs> and I can't cast these, so they will... It could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Seeing all the things that were in y'all's decks, I was like, yeah. I felt like I needed to do it now or never. Okay. Maybe I'll draw a board wipe now. Maybe. Another one. Another one. My turn? Yes. Okay. I thought I, thought I had that. I was like, I'm going to hit something lethally in 10 cards, and I did not. Okay. <sighs> so much land. Uh, we can, oh, I ha we'll just go ahead and do that. Oh, but I could do this guy now. That doesn't really, you only have those two creatures. It's true. I think getting my main guy out seems like the best thing to do. So I will, for 12, 11, so recast Shanid. Uh, one, two, uh, lose one, gain one. Well, I have the land that I drew this turn. 10, and... 11. Okay. And it's fine. I will give Carrie Zev plus two plus two. I will give Carrie Zev fear. Okay. And I will attack. Bring out Ragavan. Cool. So when I attack, we'll have Ragavan come in, oh. tapped and attacking. Five, huh? Oh, you only have two mana left. I will take it. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Do you have a two mana removal spell? No. Great. Can you kill me? I think so. Okay. Your Ragavan does go away. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I would like to bestow the Chromanticore. Whoa! It, flying. it gives flying, yeah. first strike, vigilance, trample, lifelink, and plus four, plus four. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> All right, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yes. That was a crazy game. I cannot believe how different each of the commanders played. Yeah. And special thanks to Zbex and Power Dragon for representing the Mardu side of the table. Yeah, and don't forget, if you guys enjoyed these decks, you guys can pick them up yourself from our sponsor, Cool Stuff Inc. at CoolStuffInc.com, where you guys can use code DGEN for 5% off your order. It tells them we sent you and lets us keep producing more of these sweet episodes. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time on Out of the Box.